What's up, ladies and gents? We're back. And today we're going to be talking about the priest skills and the passives that the priest has to offer. Now, I know a lot of you want to know what are the best skills to purchase on the priest. And the best thing about the priest is that there's so many good things that you can get from the priest that it's kind of hard to say. Let's see, volcanic wyvern. Aha! I got everything that I need. I'm going to craft this bad boy real quick. But yeah, like I was saying, the priest has several different traits that you can use. You can use the Whispering Shadows, and you can use um, the, um, whatchamacallit, the Nice Holy Ring. I don't know the exact names. Let me just go into it for you guys so I can stop sounding like a bot. So here goes the skills. You have Sacred Ground with Empowered Prayers. Consigned to darkness with whispering shadows. Escape the wicked um, with uh, stunning rebuke. Retribution with the holy warrior. So I'm going to show you exactly what all these do inside an arena match. Okay, so we're going to do something easy like I normally do for these videos, and it's going to be corrupted creation. The first skill I'm in doing is Sacred Ground with Emp Empowered Prayers. Now you're going to see a lot of people complaining about Sacred Ground because it ruins their buffs, especially a Seder. If you have a Seder in your dungeon, do not bother using Sacred Ground. Switch to, uh, if anything, always be on Whispering Shadows. But let's say there's two priests. Um, I wouldn't be using the Sacred Ground at all. Okay. If you have sacred ground with empowered prayers, you just literally have a massive bomb in your hands uh, to basically banish or blow up on the monster. And if you have that nice little exploit where it just double break, you know, blows up or triple blows up, that's just excessive damage. So as you can see, what I have here is sacred ground. Summons a holy circle that appears at your current position and remains for 20 seconds, granting you and affected allies 10% attack power. And if you master the Crescent Moon Blessing, uh, using Sacred Ground again when it's already activated, it ignites the ground and damages enemies within that effect. And this increases the range from 10 meters to 15 meters. So you'll see how obnoxious it is. So we're just going to start this fight now. Put the ring down and look how massive that ring is. Pair it up with a BE. And my attack is pushing on the ring, let's see, 10,361. But you see what I mean about like jumping in and off the ring and just kind of overrides the buff? Here comes the explosion. So that's basically empowered, the empowered prayer. I'm gonna go on to the next one, which is gonna be consigned to darkness. And this says summons a circle of shadows that appears at your current position, and remains for 20 seconds, dealing damage over time to all affected enemies. Now, with the whispering shadows, consigned to darkness inflicts a curse on the affected enemies, increasing the received damage by another 10%. Some people like to run the sacred ground with consigned to darkness and, and you know in some situations that is pretty good but like, as you can see here he goes he's getting hurt and he's getting more damage towards him but I can't blow up this ring as you can see I'm trying to blow it up none of that's happening It's uh, really good to run both the Whispering Shadows, I mean, Consigned to Darkness, and the Empowered, uh, not the Empowered, but in Sacred Ground for farming. Because you can blow up one circle and also have that tick damage that uh, Consigned to Darkness has. Now, the next skill is going to be Escape the Wicked. Here it says damage nearby enemies and teleport 10 meters backwards. But if you use the PvP uh, passive, um, uh, where is it? Stunning Rebuke, it reduces Escape the Wicked energy cost by minus 20%, and it also stuns affected enemies. So here we go. You stun affected enemies for 2 seconds. Okay, there you go. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the priest basically teleported. But that means I don't have the ring at all.
We're gonna wait for the cooldown to come back. Pretty long cooldown. Yeah, it's a pretty long cooldown. Yeah, I have noticed that. All right, so I'm facing the boss. I press B. Boom. It's actually pretty dope. I like it a lot. I always see people using this in PvP, and it always stuns the player, and it's very huge because you can actually do massive damage. It's good against melee classes. The last skill is Retribution. Channel Holy Energy through your staff and sending out a stream of burning light that can affect up to three enemies at once. This skill damages every second for up to eight seconds and the damage per second increases the longer you hold the attack. And the passive is uh, increase the maximum number of enemies from three to four. So I can't really show you that passive because I don't have it unlocked, but honestly, it's literally just this. That's all it is. To go from three enemies to four. Personally, my skill points would go towards the Ring of the Whispering. I mean, the Ring of the Whispering. Consigned to Darkness and Whispering Shadows. Because though, that, as a priest, is probably by far the best skill um, for dungeons. Not for PvP. I mean, PvP, it's good for Red Basin, but I wouldn't use that. I would use um, Escape the Wicked. So that's that. There you have it, folks. Those are all the skills that the priest has to offer. I'm going to go back to Sacred Ground. And uh, where is the other one? The Obnoxious Size Empowered Priest. Just because I like having a massive circle to blow up. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions and or concerns, feel free to ask in the description box below or comments below. And follow the socials, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, which is the Guitars 562 And I want to thank you guys for, you know, stay blessed, happy Thanksgiving, and take it easy. This is my... um video for you guys because I didn't do a video yesterday so two videos for the price of one well actually no price so take care guys stay blessed